Hey, Tyler here from Enigma Pictures. Today I'm going to show you how to get this uh, vintage flat looking feeling. And actually, I might throw in some color burn tutorial at the end. Um, but yeah, basically, this is what we're going for today. So here's my footage. I'm going to drag that into a new comp. Now, when I shoot, uh, or my DSLR, I actually use CineStyle. Um, to get a really flat profile so that there's no added contrast or anything and I can do all my color correction in post. Today I'm going to use Colorista, but uh, the same principles apply, you can use whatever whatever program you want. So when you usually do uh, basic color correction, a lot of people, I think the standard is to pull up the highlights and pull down the, set, the shadow to uh, get higher contrast and then you want to add some blue to the shadow and some warm tints to the highlights and some turquoise-ish to the mid-tones and that's like uh, a really standard film riot way of uh, color correcting and I mean it looks great but if you want to do a vintage look which is what we're doing today you want to actually do like the exact opposite um, so I'm gonna pull up the, shad the shadows and pull down the highlights to make this really flat milky look and then I'm gonna put some uh, magenta tone in the highlights and some green in the shadows and that'll give us the vintage look that we're looking for and also add some uh, teal to the mids again so this is um, basically what you want to do um, you can tweak stuff obviously um, to get the exact look you're looking for and because mine was so flat to begin with there wasn't too much more I had to do I'm going to add some pop also because I think it just helps it stand out a bit. But you don't want to add too much. Uh, that's kind of a amateur look to go with it. I'm also going to show you a film burn preset that I uh, made. And actually, I'll, I'll have a download for you in the description. But this will add to the vintage look if that's what you really want. Uh, so you put it on to a new a new layer and screen it and it starts out white but you can add any color that you want here's a render of it on white uh, if you want to add color to it though you just add a tint layer and then a tint effect and then tint the white channel to whatever you want you probably want to keep it a little bit closer to white here I chose purple and it's a pretty saturated purple so it doesn't look very organic but again you can mess around with that um, so I'm going to be doing more tutorials, watch any of my videos, and if you have any questions on how I did anything, or you have any questions and you want me to figure out how to do something for a tutorial, um, just message me or comment, whatever, and uh, I'll get on that. Thanks for watching.